What's up everyone, welcome to the Power Play of the CJ. Not exactly the kind of news I like talking about on the Power Play, but did to talk about, you know, everything in the hockey world. And uh, obviously this morning, LA Kings defenseman Slava Voinov was arrested in uh, Torrance, California on the uh, charges of spousal abuse um, or domestic violence. I don't think he's uh, married to the woman uh, the charged with, the, you know, the victim, um, you know, he's arrested in the hospital, accompanied the victim to the hospital, and, um, you know, it's it's obviously a growing thing in society, it's something that you obviously don't want to see, it's just a, a really, really bad thing to see, you know, this, this violence against women, and, you know, the NFL had a, a really, really bad run of it, and not only did they have a bad run of it happening, they had a bad run of mismanaging every single... <laughs> every single case um you know but i think the nhl did the right thing they acted swiftly i don't think he was arrested 12 hours later he, he suspended he came down he suspended indefinitely pending the outcome of the investigation and um he's going to continue to get paid now i think it was the best situation for the nhl to do because with the investigation ongoing you don't want him on the ice you don't want him causing a distraction of the kings causing a distraction of the league it's just not a good look Having said that, he's yet to be convicted of a crime, so him continuing to get paid isn't, you know, as evil as people make it out to be. And I think if you look at the, the, the big picture, I think a lot of it has to do with, you know, in the eyes of the court of law, and I agree with this 110%, you are innocent until you're proven guilty. However, the NHL and the Los Angeles Kings are private entities and can handle this stuff the way they want to, um, as they see fit for their, their own bottom line. And, um, you know, I'm not going to talk too much about the case itself because there's still there aren't a lot of details. Um, you know, I want to be respectful to the victim and one up who's yet to be convicted. Um, we got to throw it out there. But I think, you know, given the, the heated circumstances and, um, you know, the way it's it's kind of, you know, been a bad, not only in sports, just pin it on athletes is wrong. But, you know, domestic violence is a, an issue in all facets of society and something that, you know, males especially have to, you know, speak up against and obviously take a stand for it. I mean, I think any, um, more with any semblance of a backbone agrees with me on that. Um, but again, with with the league handling it, I think they handled it as best they could. I, I think they did the exact right thing because keeping him off the ice is great, um, you know, but you also, you don't want to cut off his livelihood because he, he hasn't been convicted yet. And, you know, just being charged with a crime doesn't mean you're guilty. Um, more facts and, and stuff will come out um, in the next few weeks and, you know, next day, few days and weeks. And, um, you know, from the hockey aspect of it, you know, it's it's obviously a big blow to the Kings. But at the same time, you know, things are more important than hockey. And, um, you know, th this is one of them. You know, making sure this is handled appropriately goes far beyond how the Kings play in the next, you know, run of days and weeks. So, um, again, A-plus to the NHL for handling it this way. I, I think it was, you know, one of the best things that, you know, the the – front office in the league is done and um you know I, I think that you know being able to uh take a stand against domestic violence is, is a you know great thing and the league's done that but um also keeping in mind that often in the court of public opinion you're guilty until proven innocent um and respecting circumstances with the boy dog but he's yet to be convicted um and i'm not making excuses i'm not condoning anything i'm just saying the league handled it right and ensuring he still gets paid because you know, again, he has not been convicted of a crime. He's still technically innocent. We need to keep that in mind because um, that's one of the pillars of, our, of an organized society is that you're innocent until you're proven guilty. And, um, you know, if you're going to look beyond the constraints of the game of hockey and all that, you're going to look at, you know, what, what makes us up as a, as a free-functioning society and democracy. That's one of them as far as I'm concerned, especially in our judiciary system. So that's just my two cents on that matter. But, again, obviously a, a something you, you, you don't want to see at all in domestic violence. Um you know, happening in the league, but I think the league acted, you know, appropriately, and we'll see what happens in the next few days and weeks as the investigation uh, goes on, and, uh, you know, see how going off handles it. And, uh, you know, I just really hope it's, uh, you know, it's not as bad as some of the stuff in the NFL, but, you know, so the, the victim's okay, and, um, you know, going off gets his day in court. Anyway, that's all I got this episode of The Power Play with CJ on Slava Boynov being arrested on charges of domestic violence. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.